Hi, and thanks for watching. I am very excited to show you a little bit of what's possible in Titler Live 5 with our all new After Effects integration. First off, to give you a brief overview, Titler Live is an application that produces graphics for live streams and broadcasts. It can output to virtually any switcher, from software solutions like OBS and vMix, all the way to high-end hardware switchers with SDI interfaces. And what really sets Titler Live apart is its ability to visualize a wide range of data sources, from spreadsheet values to real-time scoreboard properties in your live graphics. One of the top requests from our users has been to import and play out After Effects designs. This is important since, of course, After Effects is the industry standard for motion graphics design, and live video producers often need to work with third-party designers. More casual users who don't work with dedicated motion graphics artists often wish that they could tap into the various libraries of motion graphics templates that are available online. There are also some key pain points when working with After Effects projects in a live environment. Typically, you would need to render out video assets and play them during the broadcast for a predetermined duration, like I'm doing in this example here. This becomes problematic if you want to work with any kind of live data source, like a sports scoreboard, or if any corrections need to be made during the broadcast, such as a misspelled name or an incorrect job title. In high-end graphics solutions like Chiron or VizRT, After Effects designs have to be transposed to the native design tool, which is a cumbersome and time-consuming process. And many properties, like effects and expressions, can't actually be recreated. We address all of these problems with our new After Effects import workflow. You can see here that I can simply right-click and import an After Effects project or motion graphics template. I've prepared a couple of motion graphics templates for this demo that'll demonstrate a bit of what's possible. This will call After Effects to load the design and render the various layers that Titler Live needs to play it on air. Since After Effects is doing all the rendering, the exact visual integrity of the design will be retained, even in graphics that use effects or expressions. Now that the MoGuard is imported, I can play the graphic on air, and it will hold for an indefinite duration until I choose to play it out. I can also modify any properties from the design, and After Effects will render the changes for playback. Things get even cooler once I start to attach Titler Live's data controllers to the graphic. I'll attach a Google Sheet to this design, which is one of the popular controllers our customers work with since it can easily be updated on the fly from the cloud. Now I can see the various columns from the sheet, and I can link them to the text fields in my After Effects design. It will begin rendering values from the connected columns in the sheet, and I can drive variables from the spreadsheet while the graphic is on air. In another example, I have a graphic that was used by one of our clients during the United Nations General Assembly last September. It is an opener, and they wanted to change out the main image to reflect the various talking points. You can see that both the logo and the hero image have been exposed as image placeholders. So I've built a spreadsheet that links to the various images that need to be used in the production. Once I link this sheet, the images from each row will be rendered. And once that's complete, I can drive which image is queued and up in the live graphic from my spreadsheet. With this new integration, we have truly revolutionized how the power of After Effects can be harnessed for live productions, and we're very excited to witness the limitless possibilities our users can achieve with direct AEP and Mogert import.